Hey, Bucks and Rebels. How are you guys doing today? Today is Tuesday, April the 21st, 2020. Today is going to be a terrific Tuesday. I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> so, I heard you guys liked my jokes yesterday, so I have a few for today. What do you call a droid that takes the long way around? R2 detour. <laughs> How do you stop an astronaut's baby from crying? You rock it. <laughs> Last one. Why did the teacher, I mean, why did the student eat his homework? Because the teacher told him it was a piece of cake. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that and had a great laugh for the morning. So I just want to continue to remind you guys that I believe in you guys and we are going to have a great day. So let's get ready. <clears throat> Repeat after me. Repeat after you. I can model and write. I can model and write numbers to twenty numbers ten to twenty as number bonds. Numbers ten to twenty as number bonds. All right, let's get ready. So this first game, you're just gonna do it with me on the computer. You don't need your hide zero cards, even though it may look like it. So we are going to say the number the regular way, 12, and then you're going to tell me what it is the say 10 way. So 12 is what? 10 and 2. Good. What's this one? 13. What's the say 10 way? 10 and 3. Good. What's this one? 14. The say 10 way is 10 and four. Good. What about this one? What's that number? 10. And what's the say 10 way? 10 and zero. Do you see any ones over here? No, there's not any ones. Just 10 ones. Okay, now this one's backwards. What's this one? 10 and five, and what's the number? When we, when we put it on top, it's the number 15. Good job. All right, so the materials that you will need today um, are your hide zero cards, um, your 20 counters, um, and draw a number bond on your paper. Um, but your number bond will need to be big enough um, to fit your materials in it. So maybe I'd wait to draw your number bond until we, until you know, know how many materials um, we will need. <laughs> so, but make the circles pretty big so your materials can fit in them. <laughs> but we'll just need one number bond and you'll put all, you'll put your materials in them. All right, let's get started, you guys. Sorry, I'm jibber jabbering. <laughs> so, this is Gregory. Say, hey, Gregory. Hey, Gregory. So, this is his total place. We are going to make 10 ones a different color from the other ones. So that's what these great red ones are. These red ones are his 10 ones. So let's count and make sure he has 10 ones there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. So he has 10 ones and how many ones left over? One, two, three, four, five. So we are going to finish the number bond. This is the total place, but we're going to finish the number bond by putting the parts 
in the parts of the number bond. So we have 10 red, 10 ones, and five ones. All right. Y'all ready for some magic? Abra, cadabra. Let's switch it. So what did we do? Just like we did in that last lesson, we put the five over the what? Over the zero. And how many is right here? 10. And how many is over here? Five. So we moved our numbers into the hole and we put our parts into the parts, our 10 ones and our five ones. And then we put it together and that makes what? 15, that makes 15. We put the two numbers together. So let's practice doing that. So go ahead and get your materials ready because we're gonna do this next one together. So you will need your number bond and your 20 materials and your hide zero cards. So these are the ones that we're working with now. So this is what? Say it the say 10 way. 10 and three. All right, so we're gonna figure out. First, we're gonna use our counters. So we're gonna put it, our first we're gonna put all of our counters in the total place. This big total place here. So first we need to see how many, how many do we have first? We need to figure out our red ones, how many ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, those are our ten ones. And then, how many do we have left over? Three ones. One, two, three. So it's okay if your counters aren't different colors like mine. If you can move them to different sides of the circle, then that would be a good way that you could separate them. But this is our total. So since they're all in that circle, that means that they are all together. So 10 and three, so let's put them in our parts. So over here, we have our 10, let me write it for us. Over here we have our 10, and over here we have our three. All right, we're gonna switch it and find out how many is in our total. Ready? Abra, cadabra. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> we have our tens here. Our 10 ones here and our three ones here. And that makes 13. Look, all we did was cover up that zero. Ooh, you guys are magical. Good job. <laughs> all right, let's try another one. All right, so slide those off of your number bond. All right, so now we need to make our number bond to show 10, eight. So let's see how many ones we have up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, we have 10 ones. And then how many other ones do we need? Eight ones, we do need eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we need to put it in our number bond. So we have our 10 ones over here 
and our eight ones over here. But remember, this is our total place, so that means they're all together right there. So on the next slide, we're gonna do some magic and put them all together. Ready? Abra. Kadabra. Ooh. So we switched it and we put our numbers together. So we now we have our 10 ones here, our counters, and our eight ones here. So you could just slide them from your number from the total into the parts. And then you're gonna put your hide zero cards into the hole, into the hole. And so remember, we're gonna hide that zero. So we have our 10 and we used our eight to hide that zero. So now we have 18, 10 and eight make 18. All right, give yourself a pat on the back. Say, whoop, I did that. I did that. Good job. All righty. So we're going to do this one together, and then the next one is your homework. So this one says, look at the hide zero cards for the 10 frame cards. Use your cards to show the number. Write the number as a number bond, okay? So this one, we, we looked at it in our fluency today. So our total is 10. And right here, we have our 110. How many do we have left over in that number? How many is left over? That's right, zero. There's nothing left over right here. There's nothing left over. So now this one is 10 and one, okay? See, they were trying to trick you there. It's okay to write zero, but you guys can't be tricked. <laughs> so 10 and one. So it's okay if you wanna fill out the total first or fill out the parts first, but I know this is 10 and one. So I'm gonna put my 10 and my one. And then all we have to do to do our magic, our abracadabra is cover the zero. So that means the zero is not there anymore. So when you write it, you're gonna have a one, and then that zero is not there anymore. So we're gonna have a one and a one. So now that number is what? 11, that's right. So this number is 10 and two. Okay, so I'm gonna start in my parts again. 10 ones and two ones. Now I'm gonna write my total, my whole. So I'm gonna keep my one for the tens. And then I'm gonna hide that zero. And what's gonna cover it? The number two. So now we have the number 12. Great job, leaders. All right, so the next one is your homework. So let me show it to you guys. Okay. So you guys don't necessarily have to draw the 10 frames that are above the number bonds. Um, just draw the number bonds for me and make sure you show me how you, what goes in the two parts. Our whole is how many are all together, how many are all together, and then our parts are 10 ones and how many are left over? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. So I want you guys to try your best um, and turn it in when you can. And I will see you guys later. I love you guys so much. And uh, we're gonna have another fabulous Friday, this Friday. Um, so I hope you guys are able to join me at 11 a.m. Bye, you guys.